So there's people that don't, don't like the fact that they don't have their start menu anymore. They don't like the start screen. Uh, perhaps they have a PC that doesn't have a touch screen. They don't have to go here and go left and right and configure this and everything. I like it. I love it as a matter of fact. But I can understand uh, that uh, opinion. Now there's a lot of programs out there you can install that actually will give you the actual Windows 7 start uh, menu. But if you don't like a lot of extra software from unknown sources installed on your computer, uh, there's a way to sort of simulate the start menu by making your own little mini start menu. And that's what we're going to demonstrate uh, here today. So first, uh, we simply are going to go to our desktop and we're going to take a look at how we can install that. By, and we're going to install that by using the taskbar functionality that was built into Windows 7 and is included in Windows 8. If you go down here to taskbar, you see that you can right click on it. You go over here to toolbars, and you, have, you can have different toolbars. You can have address, links, touch keyboard. For example, if we click on address, you'll see over here, we can click here and just do a search over here and have that address. Uh, let's go ahead back to toolbars and unclick that. By the way, you can do it also here from the properties dialog box as well. There's a toolbar link here. The one difference is that you can't add a new toolbar, which is what we're going to do. So let's go down here to Toolbars, and it says New Toolbar. And it's going to say, okay, choose a folder. So you can create a folder for a toolbar. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go over here to my uh, Masters. I have, uh, this is my hard drive, we call it Masters. I have my Master Documents downloads and all that. And I'm going to create a new folder in here called programs okay so I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna say I'm gonna say select folder so now I have this program this link here with the uh, word programs on it and it's going to allow us to have programs in it or shortcuts that's what we're going to do we're going to come over here back to back to here and we're going to go back to uh, we're in the masters okay and you'll see here that um, I'm going to refresh this, and you'll see that we have programs. I'm going to open that up, and I have this folder called Programs. And now I'm going to add programs to it that I want to have. So I'm going to grab, I already have a shortcut here for Pinnacle. So I'm going to copy that one down there. And same with Corel and Bandicam. These are my, some of my tools I use for video editing. I'm going to start putting short copies of the shortcuts there. I'm going to put Steam over here. Uh, let's go ahead and put Skype over here. Uh, even the HP Center and stuff like that. Uh, maybe I want a link to my computer there, and maybe the network. Okay. Uh, by the way, I can I can grab individual computers off the network as well. Okay. So now I've got some there. Now you cannot put Windows 8 programs in here. You can't access those that way. But you can access them through the normal Start Screen button in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. Let's go ahead and see what we have. So now that those are here inside the programs, let's go back over here. You notice there's a little double arrow here. If I click on it, there's my menu. I have this menu here which matches the shortcuts that I put over there. So the time being, I'm going to go ahead and close this. And I'm going to say, okay, I want to I don't like this over here, so I'm going to go over here. I'm going to say unlock the taskbar, and as normally you'll see those little areas you can drag around. So I'm going to drag it all the way over here until it becomes the first one. Now you'll see that they're all spread out across here. Well, you just take your normal one that's over there and you put it over there until it's there. And now you have your normal ones that are running programs and all that. And you click over here, and here, right in the lower left hand corner. You have this little menu here, which is your most common ones. Now, <clears throat> now these are the same ones that are listed here in the uh, on your desktop, but you can put anything there. I'll show you that. We're going to go here, and I'm going to uh, go to this PC, and I'm going to go to my C drive, and I'm going <clears> to <throat> open a new window, come over here. And I'm going to open up Program Files 86. And let's see, let's go to Adobe Reader. Uh, and I'm going to go find the Reader directory. <clears throat> and there's Act Acro Read 32. It says Create Link in Programs. Boom, it's there. So I'm going to go back over here. 
uh, program files. And I can go through here and find other things that I might want to like, uh, put in here. Um, different kind of programs that appear here. Uh, whatever you happen to have. Uh, let's say you want to have Firefox there. So here's Firefox. It's great link of programs. There it is there. Uh, and you just continue looking around until you find all the things you want. Here's Google and Chrome, application, great link in programs. So you just continue to do that for all the programs you have installed. So let's go back over here. Now, if we look at it, there's our programs there. Pretty, it's usable, but it's pretty ugly. So let's uh, let's make it a little bit better by just doing things like this. I'm going to say, we're going to rename the shortcut. You're not renaming the program. Chrome. Okay. And you know, it's in alphabetical order. This one here, of course, we want to rename this to, now you can, uh, Adobe Reader. It's nobody, nobody launches Adobe Reader. It, it gets launched by clicking on a file. But you can also put files over here as well. And I don't like this. Uh, I'm going to rename this one. Uh, I'm going to just say Paint Shop Pro. Right? And this would be rename Firefox. So once you have them named the way you want them, uh, you, you have all the links you want to have in this directory here. These are, they're reflected. Uh, down in the left hand corner here in this mini start menu and uh, it looks like that. Now one thing about it is that they're all listed in the order in which they were dragged there. They're not listed in alphabetical order. So what can we do about that? Well just like any other thing that uh, if you want to rearrange stuff all you have to do is click and hold on an item and uh, to drag it. So we click and hold that put it up there so you move these around until you get the stuff that you use the most, probably near the bottom of the screen. You so when you click on it, it's uh, closest to your mouse or alphabetical or however you want to have that. You can simply uh, move things around until you're comfortable. There's my computer. Put it at the top until it's comfortable and has all the things that you you like to have in whatever order. You can group all the programs together. You can do all different things. And that sort of leads us to our next uh, thing. You, besides programs, you can actually include links in here as well. So let's go take a look at that. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, take a look at Let's use the IE icon that's down at the bottom of the taskbar. I'm going to go ahead and right-click on look at some of my places I've been. So there's uh, Microsoft uh, MSN Money. So I can drag that link over to the same place. Creates another link in there. Uh, and I can do that with other ones. Now if I want to, I just rename it. And it's called MSN Money. And now it becomes a link called MSN Money. Uh, let's get another one. Uh, uh, Bing. Let's say Bing. I'll move over here. Drag that. And rename that. Oops, rename that to Bing, of course. So now I've added a couple internet links to my, my taskbar down here on my, my poor man start menu. Now, you might want to try and think, oh, I want to do it here. I want to pin these to that. Well, you know, Windows uh, 8 apps. Well, you can pin it to the taskbar. And so let's go back over here to the desktop. And there it is there. But you can't do anything with it. You can't make, you cannot drag it to anywhere. You cannot uh, do it that way at all. So you can't add them to this shortcut. Now, remember, they're they're available in by clicking on the far uh, left-hand icon to go back to your start menu, which I prefer. Some people might try to go into and find your uh, your programs to do that. Now, they, they are located here in your Windows app directory, but it's a highly protected directory. I would assume, I would recommend they have users and try it. You can go to the security tab and try and get uh, advanced security and go ahead and get access to them. I haven't even bothered because, again, I like to use the start screen. Uh, to access those programs anyway. So now that I have that, I have the start screen, I have the start menu, so I don't even go there and try and do this. So there you are. Uh, you have your own little mini menu, start menu here. Uh, highly functional. It's not elaborate and pretty like it has all the other on the old one, uh, but it does exactly what you want to do. You can rearrange this in groups. You can put all your programs together, all your links together. You can do just about anything. So then you have one button to click on to go to your desktop programs and one to go to your start screen uh, to run your Windows 8 apps. Uh, really great little addition until uh, Microsoft decides to include the start menu back onto the desktop. 
Hey, for more great tips from Old Guy Geek, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, take a look at our playlist, Windows 8 playlist, Windows Phone 8 playlist, and a general how-to. And, of course, our latest uh, featured video. And thanks for watching.